morning, guys. How are we? Looks good, doesn't it? It does. Yeah. It's good. I hope it tastes good. You're not sharing it. That's why you want some. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I took the risk. I'm gonna wear the burden if it's no good. Pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's all my wounds here. <laughs> so six guys went down, and uh, three of those were me and my teammates. So unfortunately, went over the top of them. And, I don't know, it was about six, seven hundred metres to go, so probably doing about, by the time you break, everything, probably 55, 60k yeah. or 50k an hour. It is, I was lucky I just landed on somebody else. Yeah. And I slid down the road on top of them and they lost yeah. all their skin. So. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess we have a chef that, they do they do, do all of our food, they do all our, our dietary requirements, I guess, but, you know, it's not, not super specific with counting, you know, how many calories you burn with, how many you, you put in, because a lot of the time at the races, you need to have as much fuel as possible. So, you know, there's there's times where you need to be specific and eat eat well. And then there's other times where you need to have as much fuel so as you can get through the next stage, you know. So yeah, definitely they do pay a lot of attention to it, but I don't think they've got the scales out there and weighing things and you know, maybe some teams, but ours is pretty pretty good. Everyone knows to look after themselves and if you don't look after yourself then you don't get a job, you know. <laughs> it's kind of you, you, it's catch twenty two if you start eating hamburgers twice a day. You're probably not going to stay a bike rider for very long. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. In racing, we carry a lot of food, so you know you eat as much as you can before the start of the races, and then you've got your food in your pocket, so you keep topping up along the way. And um, it's definitely happened. You can see when riders go hunger flat, you know, yeah, see the toll that takes on somebody. You, you feel like you can barely push the pedals at 15, 20 k an hour. It's horrible. It's one of the worst feelings in the sport. We can't eat just bars and gels the whole time. It starts to give you the stomach, you know, especially in a, a Grand Tour like Tour de France. A lot of the time it's simple like ham cheese sandwiches in your pocket and uh, some banana. You will have the bars but like more muesli bar kind of stuff. And when I'm at home, uh, it's pretty similar kind of foods to normal. You know, it's not, I'm not sitting down having pasta every night. You know, it's steak three, or meat three veg kind of stuff a lot of the time. And before your big rides, yeah, we will have, you know, a, a feed of carbs, you know, whether it's rice or pasta or, or something. But I think the most important for us is the breakfast before you go every morning. You're not going to get far without that. <laughs>